Hi everyone, Aldo Beg here. So please excuse the regular viewers while I just explain to the new viewers why this video is called Motivational Speaking Slash Life Letters. So I want to be the first gaming motivational speaker. And the way I do motivational speaking is just by teaching life lessons on the dialogue. So if you check out my TV motivational speaking videos I've done yesterday on Fast Furious 5, which I haven't finished yet, I'm going to try and do some later. And on Fast Furious 4 and Arrow Season 1 Episode 8, which I haven't also finished. You know, um, then please check that out. It's on my, it's in my bio in, and the links on YouTube. All my TV movie speaking videos are uploaded there. If I don't have time to upload on other platforms and Twitter's where I'm active on, if I don't have time to post on other platforms. Other than that, I'm gonna get started. I'm glad I'm back, so I'm gonna try and finish this game and kick that boat's ass for what you did do. See ya. Anyway, let's go. Come on, let's find that boat and beat the shit out of him. Obviously it's on easy mode, but still, I'm gonna, I still get beat the shit out of in this game. I'm lucky because the health doesn't drop down. Anyway, let's go. Come on. Where do we go? I can't believe this is still ongoing. I thought it'd end by now. How can we be sure this experiment's gonna work anyway? We cannot. <laughs> So we start up some arrays, whatever those are, punch a hole in the abyss, and then fly through? Yeah, that's pretty much it. to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. close to finishing this one way or another yeah i keep thinking about what happened on nova garon i know just don't brood so much that you lose your edge we're counting on you yeah i understand you know when there's a law on the line not gonna feel pressure but you know to me if you know if you know some people support me then you know um I wouldn't feel pressured by it. I would just be, you know, if anything more motivated, because I don't believe you should be nervous. You know, just, you can't be confident and nervous at the same time. You can feel fear and be confident with it, but you can't be confident and nervous. I don't care what anyone says. And, you know, there's some things I don't feel nervous about. And if I do, when the time comes, I won't, not that I'm saying that, I won't care. I'm going to still tell myself that because I do believe it's possible not to feel nervous. Even on the battlefield. So I, even on the battlefield, I told you what I'm talking about. I still think it's possible not to feel nervous. You can just feel like a god before you get there. You know? And the thing is, I want to you know, go into that SES show, Who Dares Wins. You know? I want to fucking be the best one that dominates every single one and shock the fucking team. Anyway, I'm going to do my training at home. You know, I'm going to... You know, I hope I compete against celebrities one day. You know, when all this training I talk about my videos gets taught, I hope they, you know... Call every single celebrity the mentally toughest ones, and I want to fucking dominate every single celebrity, the toughest ones on the planet. That's what I want to fucking do and enter the show. That's when I want to enter it. When all the celebrities are mentally toughest ones compete against each other. Can you imagine doing press ups and you know, drills, you know, squats, burpees until one quits? And I will not quit when the time comes. Excuse my tongue, I am just fucking pumped up.
I'm always on edge when fishing for the finger-lipped Garpon. What a name. And fierce as they come. But that doesn't deter the poachers. The poor Garpon, despite its rarity, is a delicacy for the black of heart and a rumbly of belly. In we go! I am eager to crush any and all opposition. That's my mindset when it comes to obstacles. All obstacles are being dominated. Stick to your patrol parameters, droid. Negative. Can you imagine that? You know, being on that show, competing against all the UFC fighters, the mentally toughest ones, and you know, just being, you know, just until one quits after drill after drill. And you know, I really want that challenge, you know, because I want to be equal to Bruce Lee. And even if I failed, I wouldn't be discouraged, you know, but I don't believe I will when the time comes, if that does happen. I want to compete against the best. We've got company. Just reach the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. And it's and it's important to let people know, parents, you know, everyone, you know, when you are in trouble. You may not like to talk about one of us, but people have a right to know things. Welcome. I am Centauri Cree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Breeze, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turgle? Maybe not Turgle. Troopers, what are they doing here? 
Impressive. So, this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps he will bring me some much-needed luck. Facility. All the arrays are online. Now we just have to activate them. Cream must have locked down the facility when they evacuate. That's not gonna stop us. That's why you have to believe nothing can stop you only yourself. Not even the devil, not even ten devils if they existed, whatever. Not even the universe, if you were the last human survivor in the whole alien universe or whatever, it doesn't matter. Nothing can stop you but you keep the faith. That's something Cruz used to say in ancient and it really inspired me that day, but the time still does. Dominic Cruz. Can't go this way. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Huh. You gotta hand it to Kree. She thought of everything. See, you made it. Are 
Please inform me you're in need of assistance, so here I am. That's a long trip. It couldn't have been easy. I might be 200 years old, but I'm as spry as a Padawan. Amazing. Oh, Cal, this is simply amazing. Can you start the arrays when we're in position? Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. I'm never gonna tell. I feel tired, but I'm never gonna tell myself. Even if I have 20 days no sleep, I can still do it. I'm gonna tell myself these things. Seriously, you know, how long can you go without sleep? I don't know, but I don't care about the world record. I'm gonna break that record if I have to. So I'm not gonna temporarily limit myself a number. If I Google it up, I'm just telling myself these things. I don't care if it's misunderstood as arrogance or imagination. You can't actually, you know, put three days or something. But you know, I'm gonna tell myself longer. And you know, if I can't, then I can't. I'm gonna, you know, die trying. That's my mindset. Not a terrible view, huh? You know, I'm feeling nostalgic. I last spoke to Master Cree 200 years ago. And yet, when I see her experiment lighting up the sky, I feel close to her once more. I understand. You do, don't you? Oh, Cal Kestis, not a day passes when I'm not grateful you pulled me out of that collapsed tunnel. Safe travels. And if Dag and Gera can charge that flight, then I know you can too. Time to head back to the Mantis, buddy. Let me go through the abyss. I'm not thrilled about it either. It's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. You know how I said my intuition maybe told me that Bold is a spy? I think it did, I'm not 100% sure, I don't remember, but I'm, you know, there's just something off about him, I just thought, for a second, then I just didn't think about it, but you know, like, intuition's a scary thing, you know, if you come across someone, you don't know them, you don't want to know them, just make, just be straight up, you know, my, well, some people don't understand what intuition is, but just say, oh, there's a vibe about you I don't like, I don't want anything to do with you, because I'm going to send out to some celebrities, I don't go viral, you know, um, Sean Strickland, especially, I'm not even answer the phone to him when I'm over. I'm just gonna message him, go away, and I'm gonna screenshot the things if he pays rudely to me. He's a thug. He should be arrested. But you know, let's be honest, celebrities get away with everything. If I friend someone online, you know, if I wasn't a celebrity, you'd get arrested. So why doesn't he get arrested? Exactly, because you lot are corrupt. You just want money and to tax money of him. That's all it is. That's why he's not arrested. If a leader did that, Donald Trump friend and beats on up, there'd be an uproar. But you know, this is the thing. Why do celebrities get away with shit? But you know, other people can't. Because you lot want to tax them and you're greedy bastards. You leave homeless soldiers. You know, you have money for AI to space travel. And this is the thing. When I go by on the government of these, they're getting corrected big time by me. I don't want to hear tax a great good as an excuse. He doesn't have the right to behave that way, no one does. Not even a president, whoever.
It doesn't change. I want to make a rap track and really just to bring up his child abuse. I know all the details. I'll research them in my own way. I'm serious. I don't even think I'm. Serious. I think Eminem's controversial wait till it comes to me and you'll see what fucking controversial it is. Grease, you all right? Just, you know, a, a little distracted is all. I mean, I'm about to fly freehand into a stellar anomaly with an appetite for starships. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my palms haven't been this sweaty since... You can do this. Yeah, sure. I can do this. Oh, who asked you anyway? Yeah. Don't be afraid of being that way if someone tells you you can't do it. You know, if a family member friend, you know, I'm just going to be straight up. If you keep telling me I can't do something, I will cut you off. I think you're entitled to your opinion, but I don't want to. It's not your business. I'm going to be very... I'm going to call for relatives, you know, seriously. If they're biased and have arguments, you know, with parents or whoever, they can cut off. As I should have done years ago. I'm not kidding. I've had enough of them. Some of them, anyway. I don't care what people say, family is this, family is that, family is everything, blah blah blah. In most cases, it's a lot of bollocks. It's just an excuse as well to not accept what family of Germany are, they're shitheads. Where to next, PD? There's definitely not going to be anything after this now, but anyway, let's get, let's kick this guy's ass. I'm really curious what's going to be in the third game that happens, what, what cliffhanger is it going to be? is ready for a bumpy ride. I don't wish, you know, the child was that, you know, on anyone, but, you know, he needs to be taught a lesson. So, you know, I'm going to bring up the details if he doesn't change his fucking behavior. He should be corrected big time. You know, he friends people and he doesn't get arrested for it. You know, he can beat up a lot of people, but, you know, if he goes against someone that's trained and knows how to fight, you know, and then he friends to smash you, smash him up, you know, he walks up to you and you're trained up, beat him up right there, don't even talk, look at him in the crowd when he punched that Drake or guy, whatever, you know, you have to, you know, to steal someone like that, he's not, he's not talk, he really will, so you have to beat him up first, there's no point talking at him, but he's an angry shithead, an abused, traumatized shithead that needs a slap in his face or needs to be corrected towards some manners, but obviously, I don't know why his mom, his mom should have torn some manners if his dad abused him. But you know, maybe his mom did and he just got some angry thinking. I'm not going to accuse, you shouldn't accuse the parents not teaching manners. That was wrong of me to say. But I got my wording wrong, I know that parents do teach their kids manners. I just got my wording wrong without friends fast in my brain sometimes. But the thing is, I can't stand him. Honestly, you know, if I hated someone more than anyone, well, you know, well, I had someone more than him. But in terms of celebrity, he's the number one on my list, him. I can't stand him the, in the most. I hope a UFC fight beats the shit out of him proper. Someone that he trash talks against and then just brings it. You know, I hope Draco's wins the game, but you know, everyone said he lost. Anyway, whatever, I'm rooting for Draco still. 
Is it time? We're heading to the abyss now. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the force be with you all. And you see. Slap these like neon molding. I'm gonna tell them they need, you know, I don't want nothing to do with them because they just seem immature, especially molding, just shine a low Akbar, you know, in the middle of the streets like an idiot, dressed up with a mask, you know, it looks like an idiot. You know, um, I don't want nothing to do with them. Same with neon, they're just immature. Both of them, maybe they'll change, but I don't want nothing to do with them. And I'm gonna just say it straight, you know, message them, you know, if you're ringing me when I'm viral, don't want nothing to do with you, you're too immature. You know, I don't understand why girls hang out with them. I mean, I bet, you know, I really don't understand what girls are seeing him, because I just see immature shits, you know, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. Same with Sean Stryker, I don't know what that Nina girl, girl sees in him, he's a shithead. Well, what do you think is taking Z so long? Dag and Gera was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Hey, great pep talk, kids. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. And if my intuition tells me this person's, you know, if I'm truly sure this person won't be my friend, I'm just going to be up front and say it. You know, I'm not 100% sure anyway. You know, I've said things in the past, you know, about my intuition, but I'm going to stay neutral on them. But, you know, there's no point, you know, you know, if I, if I know, then I don't want nothing to do with that person, but I don't know. As I said, I'm just going to stay neutral on everything. You know, I'm, I'm not afraid of just being up front and just saying it. If I'm not going to get on someone, why am I, you know, if I'm going to get treated like an outsider, why the fuck would I want to talk to those types of people? They can fuck off and suck my middle finger. <laughs> And that's something I'm 100% sure about. <sighs> Here we go. I know, I know. Do you want to fly this thing? <laughs> the thing is, those people need me to achieve the boost of the ability. Without me, they wouldn't be able to do it, most of them. <laughs> that's if I was loyal, of course. But I'm not. But that's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into vortex chow. I don't want negative vibes. I've had so much of that in my life, black man. And that's why I'm just gonna be upfront. My intuition tells me so I'm like, I bet you do you know there'll be celebrities that will have that same thing, but they just won't say it because it's very awkward to say it up front. And this is why I say, you know, be like Tupac, be free in your spirit and speak your mind. Whatever he says, you know, um, just say it. You know, your vibe is off. Your, my intuition tells me this. Sorry, but I don't want nothing to do with you. If you don't understand it, then you just explain intuition if that person doesn't understand it. And then after that, you just leave them to it, even if that person thinks you're mental. I don't care. I'm being free spirited myself. I'm being upfront with people. I'm not afraid of doing that. I have boundaries, big boundaries. Great. Now it's an obstacle course. <laughs> They're coming too fast. But you are faster. Stop piloting. And the thing is, you know, if people, you know, knew they weren't going to be friends with you, then what's the point of, you know, talking to me? That's, like, I think that's very silly. You know, they should just be upfront and just say, okay, we're not going to be friends. Let's not talk. And just be civil there. If no, if we need to talk when necessary, that's it. You know, if I was viral, so you know, that's how I would want people to be. I don't want to waste time for pointless things. Cause intuition's always right. 
and starts flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you, crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. You're right. Trust me, I have no problems expressing myself. I think I've got a boldness to me to do things that most people, you know, wouldn't even be th think of doing. Even the experts. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby! <laughs> Tunnel getting a tad cozy. It's not just you. Z, what's going on? The arrays are overloading. There's nothing I can do. What? I need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Please don't say she sacrifices herself and dies. Oh my god, I hope that doesn't happen. Are you crazy? If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man. It's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? No, I do, Cal. Let her ride. That's okay. Now. And that's how you have to be doing intuition when you're when your higher self speaks to you. Time it, even if you're in a situation like that. You know how Luke is flying in the X-wing against the Death Star, and Obi Wan saying, "Trust yourself." let go and you let's go that line you know if your intuition tells you to do something even if it's you know like a daredevil type stunt just do it without thinking about it you'll succeed you're into if you don't hesitate if you don't hesitate you'll succeed if you do hesitate then you won't trust your intuition blindly no matter what it tells you that's a mistake i made 13 years ago no more <laughs> As I said, when I'm viral, I'm actually going to speak to you, you know, when I'm viral, I'm going to call out the government leaders on this Sean Strikeman's behavior. They better do something. If they don't, I'm going to expose them because, you know, I'm sick of him. Same with other celebrities, you know, getting away with things again and again. You just either tax them for money and you want the money or, you know, no, you, they're all going to get called out anyway. Watch me because I've had enough of this. Celebrities don't have the right to friend other people, especially fires. Any fire friends, me, they're going to get, I'm telling the government, if they don't do anything, fine. I'll just train an MMA with Joseph Cummings, follow me on Twitter, and then I'll just beat them up if they get in my face. Right now I couldn't, but when I'm trained I'll be able to. You know, the way my mind's developing today, I've hit stepping planets. And I'm telling you, I'm going to master this fucking training. I mean, after 30 years, I may be the slowest learner to ever do it, but I'll eventually be the fastest and just as equal as Bruce Lee. It doesn't matter how slow you go, eventually you can just become fast and rapid. So, you know, it doesn't even matter to me. Don't judge a snail by how slow he moves. Whatever, you know. I don't know. Why, I don't know why I said that. I was like a snail, though. I wasn't trying to sound stylish. That was cheesy, though. Sorry. But anyway, <laughs> don't quote me on that. But anyway, um, you know, um, do you remember when I used to try and speak like Bruce Lee? One does this, one does that. In my old, three, four years ago, and I just used to sound so cheesy. I used to try and sound like Bruce Lee, but. You know, I wanted to sound style. I just want some stylish quotes, that's all. And I have said some badass ones, you know, harsh work of the universe. All my universe quotes, I don't remember what I used to say in my videos, but I used to say, like, universe this, universe that. So those are cool quotes. Oh, you know, environment quote and all that stuff. did it, you three-armed son of a gun dark! <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. Huh. Wow. I hope it's worth it.
And the thing is, when I'm training myself, if anyone does get in my face, I'm, like, oh, I'm not going to talk. You know, I'm just going to punch them straight up and I'll slam them on the concrete. I don't care. Punch them in the throat. That's, you know, no professional fight should ever get in your face. That's dangerous. I would feel friend. You know, that's the thing. I'll pull their eyes out. Seriously, that's what I would do. You know, when I'm trained up, if I was like, I'm not kidding. I swear to God, I really would do that. You know, honestly, you know, weighing whatever, if anyone, you know, ever got in my face like that, when they're trying to, when I feel threatened, I'm doing that. I don't care, even if Dana tells me, no, if was Dana, then needs to control them and tell them to fire them. Because, you know, you know, no one's getting in my face like that. I've never, you know, that boy who put his finger on me, I slammed a bin across his face, threw a book at his head. That was excessive by me, I should have just punched him. But, you know, I'm really not bluffing. No one's allowed to do that. Fresh and fire needs to be controlled. And if they don't get controlled, then you lot and the government leaders need to fucking arrest them. To set an example, but Lord, what do you do? You just let celebrities do everything. Look at Diddy and Cassie. You all knew about that. But my, now why? Why are you all doing that? Exactly. Why are all these videos, all these accusations coming all of a sudden? Why not said before in interviews? Why are people saying it now? I ain't gonna apologize for my tone there. You know, sometimes you do have to shout. Just like I just have to shout it out. Trust me, when I go viral, the people are going to look to me, not the government, unless they change and do things differently. There's nothing anyone can do to stop me. So this is tunnel. And that's why I'm going to be the voice of the people and correct them. Because I'm fed up with them. Lore. And so is everyone else. Not what you were expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name. The temple's this way. If they try bringing up things from my past, I'll just bring up things from their past. So, you know, like I said, I'm not intimidated. Dagon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. Bode will not let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Seriously, you know, if anyone is a professional fighter, if someone gets in your face, pull their eyes out, send a message, and that will stop everyone getting in your face. I'm deadly serious about that. You know, don't take shit of anyone, you know. That's the thing. You feel, that's, you know, professional fighters, you know, why punch them? You know, okay, you can say that's reasonable force, but then it is reasonable force. It's not, re it is. Because then other fighters will get out ideas. This is the thing, okay, Wayans don't do that, but you know, you do have the right to punch them, but at the same time, you know, you know, it's just childish business, blah, 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 you shouldn't be allowed. Because you know, some people just pretend it, and sometimes you can't tell. You know, Cruz has said, you know, when they were fighting Cody, he's not going to stand for it, and Cody wasn't going to stand for it either, but they made up, which is good. And you know, I do I do know, you know, that, you know, i tell you one thing, I do know, I can tell that they both weren't talking and they meant it, you know, if it came to it, they would have actually fought, like, you know, and just hit each other. Really, they would have. I know that, trust me. But the thing is, um, they made up. But the thing, thing is, at least they don't act and, you know, they have their issues. And I'm not going to talk about that anyway. There's no need to. I'm just trying to say, you know, some fighters, they do it for business. Some, you know, mean it. And then whoever started, I don't know who started it out, Cody and Cruz. I'm not going to go on about that. It's the past now anyway. But the thing is, um, going, you know, back to it, you know, honestly, if fire does that, you know, Wayne gets in your face aggressively, I hope a fire pulls someone's eye out woman or man whoever because at the end of the day that will send a message do not get in my fucking face do not behave like a child and if that happens to him i'll laugh if that happens to him unless he fucking grows up and changes one thing about me if someone shoulder barges me i'm punching him in the face i'm not gonna stand for a shoulder bar just slap one i think even if i lose now we have him cornered with nowhere else to run he will kill or be killed 
And like I said, a well-known business person in Birmingham knows that as well. Trust me on that. You might even know some celebrities in UK, for all I know. That's how, you know, well-known he's. I'm not going to mention his name, no. Well, say something. You're right. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And ours. Honestly, let's say, you know, I got told I wouldn't be doing it. Then I'll just do YouTube fights then. And pay people in. Because I'm not compromised now. You know, let's say Dana was my boss. Because at the end of the day... Even Cruz said this, 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 this is something about Wayne's, they have to be caught. I know it's not his fault, I know it's business, but at the same time, people sometimes, you know, physically fight. Look at the Josh Koscheck fight when he tried to punch him. He should have got his eye pulled out, in my opinion. You know, he didn't even do anything, he just walked away and kept calm. I don't like Josh Koscheck, anyway, whatever his name is, he's a dickhead. You know, I can't stand him as well, he's like Sean Stryker. And... Hopefully he's changed and grow up over the years, if not, I don't care. But as I said, you know... This is the thing, you know, some things, you know, I'll compromise, but some things, you know, I won't. Someone gets my face a great, and I feel threatened, I'm putting my eye out, I'll tell you straight. I've got long fingers as well, and when I'm training my silk, I'm not bluffing. That's self-defense, that's reasonable force. Whereas you lot in the government and leaders go intervene then, when the time comes. Actually arrest people, then taxing them for money just because you're greedy and don't care about the poor. I mean, this Diddy thing, with Cassie thing, you know, if that was anyone else, they would have been arrested, right? Why has the video come out all of a sudden? It just makes me think, is there a plot from the leads or I don't even know anymore. keep thinking about something Seer once said. A warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. We all do. Anger. Even I felt anger there. Um, I was half focused. It wasn't fully focused actually there, but whatever. It's not going to dominate. But the thing is, I'll get there. And, you know, um, my mantra was on my pee, but I wasn't fully there. I lost it there. I wasn't making excuses. At all. I wasn't proud. I just... I just said it wrong, but anyway, I'm not really going to go about, you know, my mistakes. I don't care if I fail a thousand times. I will fail, you know, to the age of a hundred if I have to, and I'll still keep going like this. I mean it. It's, you know, get rich or die trying for me, and it's, you know, to me, it's just get rich. I don't even believe in the die trying thing. The die trying thing, and of course, I know what it means. I don't take it literally, but if you have the fear, you know, of not dying, or if you have the will to die trying, and you have no, you, you have, um, Sorry, my phone's ringing. You have... Let me answer my phone. Hello? 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 Hello, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. What's up? Hello? 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 Hi. Hi. Yes. Correct. Fifth of November, isn't it? Okay. No, they're just looking. I've had a new social worker again. That girl, Nadia, she's gone off sick and she didn't even tell us. Me and my dad. 
she's not professional as I said you know she doesn't even bother you know to communicate you know I get that she's sick but she should actually say it yeah she's the care coordinator I think she's always been there yeah that nod you got the one I was at court last time They just ask for areas and that's it, so they're just looking at all. Yeah. Yeah. They just they haven't offered me anything yet, they're just looking. Um, I'd rather this was discussed with my dad because you know he knows best and so we can discuss it then you know and then decide up there yeah Yeah. Um, so we talk about it a day or two before you decide you're having another meeting on your day with your dad when you decide what to do then. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Any questions? No, thank you. Um, I think we have all the papers from the funeral doctor. Oh. Uh, let me just put them in chat. Have you ever seen them before? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, so, so they'll make a, they'll make a, an arrangement with the doctor. The doctor will make an arrangement, sorry, with the ward at some point in, before the hearing, either on the day or a day or two before. Okay. So that they will not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right then, I guess. Okay. okay. I'll speak to you again. All right, bye. Hi everyone, sorry about that, I had to, you know, take a phone call, it was important, it was normally I wouldn't. But anyway, I was saying about the die trying thing, I've explained this before, but let me explain it again. So, you know, um, die trying, get rich, you know, it, it means you're willing to die, but you don't fear death. And when you have that powerful, fearless attitude, then you're going to push yourself even more. You won't worry about the risk, because you're willing to risk everything being caused. I That's feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. Everyone faces the bad and dark side. It's always there for the rest of your life. There's nothing you can do except embrace it and channel it. And when you give in, just channel it again like I did. Move on. You will too. He's still here. Good.
seriously, you know, things happen, you know, in self-defense, if you're a professional fan, so long, do that, you'll send a message, and like Mike Tyson, you'll be intimidated, no one will mess with you after that, that's what needs to happen, so this child, you know, some of these children in MMA, you know, behave like adults, and not flipping school kids, set an example, shit, honestly, it's the, the boxers are more humble than the MMA fighters, that's one thing I would agree with, Do you hear that? Gotcha. I'm not stereotyping, but generally speaking, they're much better compared to the MMA fighters. More mannered and they're just delusional, they think they can be a boxer. There's believing and then there's being Bruce Lee. No, none of them are Bruce Lee. Not even close. And if I was vile, they need my advice to become, to, you know, most of them need my advice to get it. And then most of them wouldn't have been dead fit to him and be better than him. But I don't aim to, I aim to be equal to him. Star hiding in the night. All your friends are ghosts. Did you won? Hey, Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry, Papa hurt you. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. And actually, you know, if I was by, I don't hope to be friend. I hope it's just debating. You know, like dickhead Sean Strike then. But you know, if I'm trained myself and he gets my, I will do that with no hesitation. And I've been through things worse than any fighting cage wise. I'm not, I can't fight like one, but trust me, I have. Going in a cage is nothing compared to what I've been through. <laughs> You know, even most of them, even he, wouldn't be able to handle what I went through. You can say you would, just because I did, but nope. I've got more fire in me than most people. You know, I don't even acknowledge, even when I really haven't wasn't at this level. You knew my experiences, you know, people would be shocked. And I have shocked people in the past. I still do. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? Okay. Follow me. I don't think I'm a soldier, but some people might call me one for what I've been through, honestly. I don't think I am, though. You know, I praise myself for what I've been through. I didn't even lose my mind when I went through the horrible things I went through. Just lack confidence. That was the only thing. I don't like it here. It's dark. And lonely. You don't have to be afraid. And you don't. It's your choice. You just have to be really brave and feel the fear. Feel your emotions fully. Embrace them. Hug them. Dance with them. You know. Seriously, that's how you have to be with your emotions. You know. Live with them. You know, like Ned Stark says, I live with my fear. I don't know how he says it, but it's so bad. So it's quite, you know, sleep with your fear. You know, whatever he says. I need to watch Game of Thrones too. One day I'm definitely doing TV always speaking videos on that show. That's my favourite show. 100%. You know, I wish my parents would watch it, but they won't. But anyway, um... Maybe my dad will. My mom, no. But, um... Anyway, um... I don't know. My dad's harder to please. I think you'd like it. My mom, I think she would. But I don't know, she's hard to, you know, she won't, she won't know. But anyway, never mind. Better? I could just watch it offline if I'm doing videos, but I want to do them one day for sure. Watching loads of Game of Thrones clips on YouTube, so cool to watch them. You know, Daenerys said, someone said, uh, I can't remember her name, uh, is it, I don't remember her name. She's an older lady. She like tells son. She wants son to give her information. She's you know that girl that marries Joff was about to marry Joffrey, and then he dies, and then she marries Joffrey's brother, her mother or grandmother, um, 
says to Daenerys, be a dragon, and that's, you know, how I think, you know, I'm not going to be a lion, I'm going to be a dragon, you know, and that's how I was thinking in my mind earlier, and that's the thing, I'm training my mind, when the time comes when I compete, whether it's UFC or YouTube, when I pay fires, I mean, everyone's going to want to compete against me anyway, so, you know, the thing is, I want to do it without weight classes anyway, because I don't believe in that for myself, I know it's there for safety, but I'm competent to take the risk with silk straining. And well, I'm being true already. <laughs> That's nothing anyway. It really isn't. Things I'm gonna go through. What's that? You're very pretty. But just to be clear, I have been specific, you know, it'll be in my own time, first things first, other priorities, that can wait, because I'll never retire anyway, so it might be a few years for that to happen. How did you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire, including Kata and you. But you have to surrender now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them. He's not gonna surrender. I bet you have to kill him. Please. <laughs> This is so cool.
this on your daughter. Code, we know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, Papa! All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? I'm sorry, Kada. I tried. That was the right thing to do. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. It's sad, isn't it? You know, in the beginning, it's cool. I'm sad, but I don't like him for doing that. But you know, it's sad you tie him in the beginning, then he's just a tramp. That's why sometimes the people you're most close with you know, just betray you in the end. There's nothing you can do about it except move on and don't let you know expect your issues and trust in people. It's hard though when you have to let go. When well, you're not truly fearless, you're not truly relaxed like Bruce Lee, and you won't get that ability unless you become fully relaxed. Many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. Nope, you're embracing the people you love by, by embracing the pain, by, you know, letting it go at the same time. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. Own your pain completely, embrace it, use it. That's the only way you're going to be close. That's the closest way. If anything, as strange as that sounds, you may think if they're alive, you're going to be close to them, and no. When you, you know, when you're in pain, you're actually closer to them because you're, you're going to think about them a lot more. You're more motivated to, but you have to do it in a controlled way where your mind is empty. You're not consciously thinking about them, but their memory is with you. Their spirit is with you. It is better if they're alive. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, this is a way of, you know, just being positive. And this is my code, basically. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. Embrace your pain, but don't let it consume you. Embrace your anger and hate, just don't let it consume you. Channel it the right way. And that's what I'm going to do. 
or chariot like Bruce Lee. I don't know if he had anger and hate. He definitely, everyone feels anger though, but you know, I have anger and hate in me. And, I'm, and you know, for me, I use that to push. I'm okay with that. There are some people in this world I hate. You know, do I hate Sean Franklin? Yeah, I fucking hate that guy. I have no sympathy for him. He's a shitter. And the people that don't correct him if they offend him are just cowards. I don't judge them. It's scary to correct, but you know, if they don't, you know, after a while, then what's the point of, you know? You know, then what's the point of your, you know, what's the point of, you know, courage then? You'd lack it. If it affects your career, fair enough, I understand, but if it doesn't, why can't you correct him? Unless you're scared of getting beat up, then that's different, call the police. There's a relative I hate, I cut her off long ago, I just told her straight off, I don't want nothing to do with you. I'd say I just said it directly. When she said, how are you? I just said, let's talk. I didn't even answer her. I should have, you know, I didn't say it with confidence. My voice was shaking, but now I can say it with confidence. But that's the thing, I said it with confidence. Sorry, with my, with my voice shaking when it was uncomfortable. I don't, you know, I'm not going to say how are you when you when I'm going to cut you off. It's going to be a phone discussion. I'll just do it with text message. I don't care. I cut off people without even explaining myself. I don't need to get all anyone explanation to treat you like shit. You know, if someone cheated on me, I wouldn't even bother texting them, I would just dump them and move on and just leave them be. If they text me, they'll say, you cheated on me? Now, if she changed, I'd forgive her. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I would. I don't know. If she was truly sorry, then yeah, I would. But if she wasn't, then I wouldn't then. Cause I believe, I don't know if God does forgive, I think. I said, I'm not part of any religion. I don't, I don't think any of us understand God or this universe or aliens or anything. So I don't think any of us have a right to say God does this and that. I used to say that, but sometimes I was trying shit and sometimes I really believe that. Now, I'm not sure. You know, I just think we should just leave it until there's more answers come. Just trust your intuition. Your instincts isn't, you know, your instincts can be wrong. It's not always God. Some people get consumed by a fear like him. It could be someone close to you one day, you just never know. Don't be paranoid, but you know, keep an eye on people at the same time. The ones you trust, you don't need to, but you should always, you know, be observant of everyone anyway. At what times, it's just good discipline, you know, because then you can help them if they, you know, go astray as, you know, one of these characters said, you can guide them back. And it's that Merrin girl that said it, if that's how you say her name. To Cal, you know, there's always someone to guide you, or, you know, if you've lost, you've gone astray. But the thing is, um, you know, don't let fear consume you like bog. And some people will react that way in real life and that was a real life situation. Honestly, I think the majority would if this happened tomorrow. But I believe that can change if the majority are taught right and guided by the leaders and government, not just me.
saved my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path. And this is the thing, you know, sometimes a person can, you know, save your life. It's important that you don't become afraid of losing them, you know, when things happen, you know. You know, I control my fears well, you know, when it comes to that. But, you know, I don't believe in manifesting. I always tell myself people, that, but, you know, the thing is someone can die at any time. And the thing is, when someone does help you, you know, it's important not to let them watch you. You did this, you did that, and then it just, you know, breaks you down. Acknowledge it, reflect on it in a, con in a subconscious way. Conscious way, keep your mind empty. No, I think everything, your memories, whatever, and stay in the emptiness, as Bruce Lee said. Then, you know, you'll get that ability, and I'm going to get it. You know, I'm going to fucking get it, watch. When I needed to. Yeah, this is the thing. Let people walk their own path. Compromise, yes, but you know, some people don't let people walk their own path. Look at Tupac, everyone loved him. But you know, if someone behaved like that in any workplace, nobody would allow him. When I think that someone like that's needed. I mean, if a media paparazzi, you're allowed to spill them. I don't care. If I was told not to, then I wouldn't. But as I said, you know, they come out some, if they harass, you know, if I had kids, they harass them, they're getting slapped in the face. They're not allowed to do that as far as I'm concerned. The government needs to ban them from doing their jobs. There's no, they, you can't harass people, but they're just cowards. They allow, they don't say no to transgender surgery because they're cowards, they want money. And they don't say no to paparazzi because they're cowards, they want money to tax. And that's, that's why they're all failures. Most of them anyway, some of them will agree. And then sometimes it's just elites or whatever, you know, I'm in control, but whatever, I don't even know. You know, I have no idea what the hell they're doing. This whole Diddy thing is a perfect example. Why is he arrested now? I, you know, I hope he changes, you know, but and gets freed. Because I did look up to him. I hope he changed. You know, I learned a lot from him in his videos I used to watch. You know, he used to say, getting up, falling down, getting up, falling down. That's one video. That's that's my favorite video of his. You know, and, you know, and, and this other saying, you know, don't stop, you know, which is said by Diddy somewhere. You know, that's probably my favorite saying because it's a quote that I remember where it keeps me going. You know, it's part of who I am. Well, you know, I hope he changes because I am upset by all this, but you know, it doesn't you know, excuse what he's done. But you know, if he changes, I'll forgive him. Just like anyone else, even if you don't try to change it, I'll forgive him. Even if someone raped, I'll forgive him. That's how I am. I don't know if that's what God would do, but I'm going to just follow my own heart. And I don't think any of us have a right to call on God. Not me, not anyone, and I was wrong to. Who am I to, you know, you know think all these things? We need answers. It's a big real universe out there. We have, we are, we're just a small part of it. We don't, you know, people can say they're all the answers in religion. That's bullshit. There's, it's not. If you can tell me why they're all there and why, why you know, then I want to hear that. But that's just biased thinking or just brainwashed thinking one or the other you know we're a small part of this big universe this we all these games star wars it just shows you know what's out there real you know it just shows what's possibly out there the moon you know the underground of the moon what's to say they're not, they're not underground of mars jupiter and all those other planets and there were photos of mars apparently leaked uh, it looks like i don't know if that's legit or just ai photo or not but there was you know i recommend you sign up to apple news because there's articles there you know like you can access and see, you know, sometimes you can't, you can't, you know, some websites have paid articles, you know, and I've signed up to, I've got a free one for each, I'm going to keep it though, because it's a good site, you know, for video games, everything, because, you know, it's pretty good, there's a National Geography channel I pay attention to as well, you know, I grew up aliens, you know, just all have every, whenever I can, every day ideally, so I, I learn things, you know, just learn about other life out there. It fascinates me, because we're a small part of the universe, and we, you know, we don't even know, what, what, you know, who, you know, these are like, there's going to be more advanced civilizations than us. They might know advanced things about the mind we don't know. Advanced things about our DNA we don't know. They might understand AI better than us and how to use it. Whereas these lot, you know, these idiots, you know, don't care, you know, care about, you know, people's jobs. You know, they just want to replace people and then that's what's going to happen. You know, if, you know, if people are going to lose jobs and stuff. You have to use it where there has to be a law where people aren't allowed to be replaced. Otherwise, you know, it's not right. Well, you know, is AI going to be used to make movies? Are all artists, you know, producers, are they going to all go or whatever? Because AI machines come out. I bet you that's what's going to happen if something's not done. And then, you know, everyone says, it's going to help jobs. 
how is he going to help pay? That needs to be discussed. And that's not discussed by any IA expert. I mean, yesterday he was thinking about Elon Musk and you know his Optimus Prime droids coming out twenty, thirty thousand dollars. An article I posted on Twitter. But you know, if he spoke up, then why is he need to say something about pay? He also needs to, you know, the government needs to also make it a law. You can't replace people. You can use them, yes. I think AI is needed and it can be used to aid people, but pay has to be the same. It can't be decreased because of less hours are needed because AI does things faster. And quite, oh, this is the thing, business people, I'm not one of the few, you know, that are willing to pay people. Pay. You know, I'm willing to create a music app. If I used to pay less than what they are because of streaming, because they, you know, they must be, they used to have CDs. I'm willing to do that just to be nice because I feel bad for musicians. I, you know, that's the thing. I'm willing to do that if in my own time, you know, just because I'm nice that way. You know, just like helping home and story because I'm nice that way. Building world because I'm, I'm nice that way. That's how I am. If I have a mentor, I'll pay them when I have the money. You know, some people don't even pay mentors. I don't know if they all do, but some probably do, some don't. But that's how I am. Even if I get taken advantage of, that's just how I am. You know, really, I'm like that. Anyway. Just be yourself and I'm always going to be nice even if I'm taking advantage of. I'll just say something and that's it, I can't do anything else. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. Sometimes people start your path and they go you know, maybe you're a soldier, you get taught by this general, and then he dies on your first mission, but then you have to figure out the rest of your path of what it means to be a soldier. Because, you know, I think you can figure it out, you know, in terms of the physical and mental training, but in terms of figuring out, you know, yourself, you know, there's things you can always discover about yourself. No one's perfect. It's impossible to reach perfection. There's always new things you can learn. Today I've learned some new things, like I'm a dragon, things like that. To build my mind up in a soldier thing is a mindset. You know, Anne Milton's book, The Military Mindset's coming out. That's a book I recommend you all read. I'm going to read them in the order, though. Yeah, I'm going to finish the books on my mental fitness. There's another two, I think, after that. can't remember, but, you know, um, I like to read it in order because sometimes the books reference things, but you don't have to. But the thing is, um, you know, I recommend you read that. I've pre-ordered it on Kindle. I don't like paperback, but, you know, that's your opinion. I, I, I like the look of it, I just can't be bothered to hold the book though. I'm just lazy that way. You know, and I prefer reading over audiobook. But, you know, you need both. For me, I need the audiobook because I'm not busy just listening to the book when I have one go. But anyway, just do what you want. There's no wrong or right way. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I think everyone's almost lost themselves. Everyone's been through that. But you know, the thing is, you know, I believe even prophets have been through that. You know, no one's perfect. Why would God create someone that's perfect? It's impossible. You know, you have to be trained as one. Even if you're trained as one, it doesn't mean you're perfect. You know, any everyone loses themselves at some point in life or close to. You know, ev well, everyone has their down days and gets depressed. That's you losing yourself. But maybe, you, you know, you lose yourself in a more extreme way. And that's where, you know, you gotta, you can always come back. Don't be scared of it again. And if it happens 10 times, just accept that and not be discouraged. So, you know, you, you know you're always going to fail, you know, in something. No matter how bold you sound in your head. Whether it's silently or verbally. I prefer to say things verbally because I'm not afraid of being judged on that. I don't care. I want to be judged on that. I want to draw in through my obstacles. I don't care. If all the experts are watching me right now, I'd say it. I don't care if they would doubt me. Or most of them doubt me. I don't know. But the thing is, I'm going to be myself always. When the moment I have a goal, I'm saying it out loud for the whole world to know. Call me an underdog or whatever. Call me a bastard like Jon Snow. I don't care. I'm going to prove everyone wrong. I don't know if I'm ready. know if I'm ready for what comes next. I know I'm ready for what comes next. None of that talking with you and if people are dying.
yes, this is so badass. Cal, guide her through the darkness. She has to be in the next game like this, come on. You know, like, if you watch Dexter, his father, it's so cool, I love Dexter, you know, I watched that show twice, I could watch it again, honestly, it never gets boring, I need to wait a while till I watch something though, but I've just been years since I watched it, so I wouldn't mind watching it, but, you know, I don't know when I'll do TV or racial speaking videos on it, but the thing is, um, you know, Dexter's father is always there in the background, you know, talking to him, and I love that, I hope, you know, the next thing, obviously it's going to be that way, see us there now, talking to him for the force, and that's so cool, you know, I forgot about that. Sorry, my brains are working properly, but it's so cool. The way it was done in Dexter, though, I love that. It's so bad. I hope it's done like that, not just through the voice. We actually see her. Oh, God. Well, I'm sad. What a game. This has been... I don't remember the first one, but, you know, this is... I do remember it vaguely. But this was darker, you know, more twists. You know, it's brutal. Three people died. Well, it's not exactly what we expected. But this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. This belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. Then, kid, should we give it a shot? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, that's the spirit. Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? Plus, but I'll keep it saved on the PS5. One day I'll get it. By then, the PlayStation 6 might be out. You never know. But anyway, um, thank you. Um, you know, when I go viral, you know, I'm gonna upload it on YouTube. So you know, thank you to all the workers of the game, to everyone else that viewed the video. You know, this is the best one. Ben, the first one's an amazing game. You know, I love it. And you know, I'm glad that girl Mary didn't die because that would have been, you know, that would have really broke my heart. You know, see her dying. You know, all of them dying. It you know, kills me. I don't really cry during TV though, same as the fans, I'm a very emotional person, sensitive, but during TV I don't cry, you know, but I got angry though, I bowled, fuck, you know, I was really angry, but in a jokey way, not in an uncontrolled way, anyway, I'm glad Bolt's dead, fuck him, <laughs> no offence to the actor, good acting though, but anyway, thank you all for coming, I'm going to play Batman Arkham Asylum next, now I'm going to be on it in a minute, you know, um, as I said, just bear with me, I need to go to the toilet, I held it in there, you know, I shouldn't have though, but never mind. Just two two minutes of me, then Batman Arkham is silent. Trust me, all the Batman games I'm going to play with the Batman Arkham like, DLC. I've never played the DLC before. So, you know, um, you'll enjoy it. If you've never played it, you'll really enjoy it. I can't remember Asylum, but City and Night are brilliant, but I'm sure Asylum is good. So anyway, um, just bear with me. Take care of everyone. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. That's where I'm most active on. I don't have time to always get these videos public, but I do upload them on YouTube probably once, you know, I, once I get money and so on to do it for me, then I'll be able to do I'll go through all my private videos and then edit things out of my older videos that are um, professional, you know, or maybe just upload them, I don't know. I'd rather people just learn from my mistakes, not edit them, but 
it's up to you know whoever my, well it's, I want Rebob and them to manage me for Twitch and I want Rebob like to manage me for YouTube too I'm always creating videos but you know I'm edit them on YouTube that's what I mean but anyway um besides that uh thank you all for coming please follow me on Twitter that's where I'm most active on I'm gonna be on Batman Arkham Asylum in a minute it's gonna be on the PS5 so you know I've got it on the PS5 um besides that um you should find me on twitter that's where i'm most active on go to my youtube link in the biography that's where my team over should speak videos on fast furious 5 which i haven't finished yet just started yesterday fast furious 4 which i finished yesterday and arrow season 1 episode 8 which i've only just started up i'm going to just finish the fast films first because the, once that's out of the way then i can do everything and balance everything a bit more better for personal reasons that's all otherwise you know thank you all for coming take care i do apologize you know Oh man, I enjoyed that game. Been on it for two months, but I'm glad it ended. And you know, I got the whole Saturday to myself. So you know, just gonna. I don't know what I'm just gonna. I just listen to my body, whatever I feel. Like. I want to play Origins. I want to do team always speaking videos because you know I should have done some by now. But my body just telling me to play, so I listen to my body, my instincts. When I sleep, as I said, when I feel sleepy, I just sleep. But I don't. So I'm on to four anyway. So just bear with me. Be right back in two minutes. Thank you all for coming.